This conference will now be recorded. Okay, let's start. So in the last class, uh, we discussed about uh, a read statement on what uh, standard internal uh, table. Okay, now, and we have seen a standard internal table with what uh, non-unique key. Okay, now let us go for uh, what sorted internal table. We have another type of internal table called as what sorted internal table. Okay, so let us do that. Sorted internal table. So, so how do you declare the internal tables? First, we'll create the types declaration. So, I'll say types begin of ty underscore emp. I'll declare some fields inside this. I'll say employee number type i. Then let me take employee name of 20 type c. Then employee designation of something 25 type C. I'll close the types declaration end of ty underscore emp. Now based on this types declaration we can create the internal table. So I'll say data let me say t underscore emp1 type. So so far we used to say what type table of which is understood as what standard internal table. Now let me declare sorted internal table. So I'll say type sorted table of what is the type name? Ty underscore emp. So earlier we have seen we can declare the standard internal table either with a key or without key. And if you are defining it with a key, it supports only what non-unique key. It supports only non-unique key. So here also I am trying to declare the sorted internal table without header and I am not giving any key. Let's see whether we will get any errors. Then since it is without header, I require what work area. So W underscore EMP type TY underscore what EMP. Done. Let me check for the syntaxes. Yeah, when I do syntax check, I am getting an error. The key is not specified in full. The key is not specified in full. Types is specified generically are completed only in what standard table. So what is saying is only in standard internal tables I can create it with key or what without key. But in case of sorted internal table, key is what mandatory itself. The key is not specified in what full. So key declaration, key specification is mandatory in case of sorted internal table. So if I give like this, it is giving me the syntax error. So let me comment it for your reference. I'll say syntax error. So let me say whether it supports what non-unique key. With the non-unique key, what is the uh, what is the field you want to declare the non-unique employee number? Okay, so I am declaring the sorted internal table with non-unique key. Let me save it. Check for the syntax. No error. So what is the meaning? It supports what? Supports non-unique key declaration. Let me check whether it supports unique key declaration or not okay so i'll just give a comment supports then i'll say data t underscore emp1 type sorted table of so and so with the unique key employee number so when i do syntax check yes it supports so what is the meaning sorted internal table supports both non-unique key as well as what unique key whereas standard internal table supports only what non-unique Okay, this is the first difference okay and another difference is for standard internal tables the key declaration is what optional but whereas for whereas for sort internal table compulsory we need to declare the 
key and it supports both unique as well as what non-unique key. One second. Okay. So I declare it. Done. So what is the meaning of sorted internal table? While adding the entries itself, while adding the entries itself, it is going to sort the data in what uh, sorted order of the key field. Whereas in case of standard internal tables, in whatever way we have added, the same way it will take. If you want to sort it separately, we have to use a sort statement. But whereas in case of sorted internal table, while adding the entries itself, it is going to arrange the data in the sorted order of the key field. In the sorted order of the key field. Done. Now let us try to add the entries inside this. Clear. Okay, clear. Uh, before adding the entries, better we clear the work area. So clear W underscore EMP. Then I'll say W underscore EMP iPhone employee number. Then W underscore EMP iPhone employee name. I'll give some employee name. Then W underscore EMP iPhone employee designation. Then okay, that's it. So in the earlier cases, we have seen that for standard internal tables, we can use both append and what insert statement. Append will always add the data to the end of the internal table, whereas insert can be used either to insert at the end or at a specified index position. Now let us check whether whether sorted internal table supports both append and insert or not. So I'll say append w underscore emp2 t underscore what emp1 done. Let me add one more entry. Employee number, let me say something seven. I'll give some data. Some designation. Right, so I've added some three records. I've added some three records. Okay, so what type of internal table this is? sorted internal table so what is the meaning while adding the data itself it is going to sort the data in what it is going to arrange the data in what sorted order of the key field what is the key field here employee number is the key field so now what is the order i am inserting five then i am inserting seven then i am inserting what ten so i am only taking care of what sorting sequence i am only adding the data in what ascending order and already we know append statement will always add the data to the end of the internal table so let's see whether it's supported or not let me loop and display i'll say loop at t underscore emp1 into work area w underscore emp then i'll say write w underscore emp iphone employee number employee name and employee designation and the loop. so the focus here is i am trying to use append statement and append statement will always point to what end of the internal table it will try to add the data to the end of the internal table and i am adding the data in what sorted order sorted order of what employee number five seven and what ten so let's see whether it works or not so when i execute yes we are able to add the data and working fine. So what is the meaning? I am able to use what append statement. I am able to use append statement. Now what I will do is just try to understand. Here I will try to add one more record. Let me give employee number as something 6. And employee name I will give it as something Ashok. Okay. Right. So. I am trying to add one more record with employee number 6 and I am using what append statement. What is the behavior of append statement? Append will always try to add the data to the end of the internal table.
table. So it will try to add this employee number 6 to the end of the internal table. But my internal table is what kind of internal table sorted? Okay, what is the key field I give? Employee number. So it has to arrange the data in what sorted order of what employee number. So according to the sorting sequence, this employee number 6 should come between what? 5 and what? 7 now. Employee number 6 should come between 5 and 7. But I am using the append statement. Append will always try to add where to the end of the internal table. So we are instructing to add at the end of the internal table. But since it is a sorted internal table, the sorting sequence will be destroyed if you are trying to add at the end. Let's see what happens. No syntax error. Okay, I don't have any syntax error. Okay, let me execute this. Yes. I got the runtime error. I got the runtime error. What is the runtime error I got? Error while inserting or changing rows in a sorted table. Error while inserting or changing rows in a sorted table. Error analysis. An attempt was made to insert or change a row in the internal table. Sorted internal table at the position what? 3. At the position 3. This corrupted the sort sequence. This corrupted the sort sequence defined for the table by its key. So, am I clear? So, see where I am getting the runtime error. If you scroll down, yeah, you can see the arrow pointer here. I am getting the, the this statement execution, 40th line execution is leading me to the runtime error because we are using append, which will try to add the data to the end of the internal table. But according to it is a sorted internal table, it has to sort based on the employee number when adding the entries itself. So, the sorting sequence will be destroyed. So, I got the runtime error. Okay. So, what is the understanding? Can we use append statement on sorted internal table? Yes, we can use. But we should ensure the sorting sequence based on the key field. If you are not ensuring, there is the possibility of leading to what? Runtime error. So, blindly we cannot say that append is not supported. Append is very much supported if you are ensuring the sorting sequence of the key field. Otherwise, it may lead to what? Runtime error. So, what I will do here? Just I'll comment it. So, this will lead to what? Runtime error as, as what? Sorting sequence. Sorting sequence of key field. What is the key field I specified there? Employee number is what? destroyed okay so what i'll do instead of using append statement i'll try to use insert statement insert w underscore emp into table what is the internal table t underscore emp one okay so let me check it now okay i'm again i'm looping and displaying Let's see whether insert will avoid the runtime error or not. So, what is the employee number I am trying to insert? 6. So, when I execute, good. So, you can see here, 6 is automatically inserted in what second position? Automatically inserted in the second position. That is the reason it is recommended to use insert statement rather than append statement. Because if you use append statement, we have to take care of the sorting sequence. Whereas, if you use insert statement, we need not worry about the sorting sequence. Insert will automatically insert the record at the appropriate position. That is the reason it is recommended to use insert on sorted internal table rather than what append statement. This is one point. Another point you see, what kind of field I give, what kind of key field I give, unique key field. Unique means what which doesn't accept what duplicate values, which doesn't accept duplicate values. Now what I'll do? Already, we have the record what 10 Praveen and employee. 10 Praveen and employee. So, here I will say, I will try to add again 10. Let me give some other name. Let me give it as something Srinivas. And I will give this as something what? CEO. I will give it as what? CEO. Right? I am appending the data. Okay? So, append will always try to add the data where at the end. Na? So, what is the largest employee number here? 10 only. Not just the highest employee number is what 10. So append will always add where at the end only. So this is fine. Okay, but what kind of key field I give? Unique key field. Unique means what? Which doesn't accept duplicate entries. 
already 10 is there in my internal table again I'm trying to insert what 10 let's see what happens here when I execute this no syntax error when I execute yeah I got a different runtime error what is that error during insertion into a table with a unique key error during insertion of table with a unique key see here the table was defined with a unique primary key no entries with uh, duplicates can be inserted into this kind of what table see the error analysis if you scroll down which statement is giving the runtime leading to runtime error the 53rd statement again here also here also one second please One second, just hold on. So here, okay. so what is the change I have to do here? This append statement is leading to what? Runtime error. So let me just comment this. So what is that? I'll give a comment here. Runtime error as duplicate, duplicate key field. What is this? Employee number found okay so what i'll do now i'll use again what insert insert w underscore emp into table t underscore what emp one insert w underscore emp into table t underscore emp one let me just execute this Right, so what happened here, see, uh, even though I am trying to insert the duplicate entry, since I use the insert statement, it will ignore, it will ignore the duplicate entry. So that is the advantage of what insert statement means. When you use insert statement on the sorted internal table which contains unique key field, you need not worry about the duplicate entry. If you try to insert also, it will ignore the duplicate entry. This is another reason why it is recommended to use insert statement over append statement on sorted internal table because if you use append statement sorting internal table we have to take care of the sorting sequence of the key field and we have to take care of the duplicate entries of that particular key field that is the reason we always go for what insert on sorted internal table but doesn't mean that i cannot use append we can use yeah, any questions so far please ask So, to summarize the difference between standard internal table and the sorted internal table, the first difference is for standard internal table, key specification field is what optional. But whereas for sorted internal table, key specification field is mandatory. Compulsory, you have to specify the key. Okay. And another thing is, in case of standard internal table, it supports only non-unique key. But whereas in case of sorted internal table, it supports both unique as well as what non-unique key field. And another point is, in case of standard internal tables, both append and insert can be used. Okay. So in case of standard, we understood that append will always add at the end and insert can be used either to insert at the end or at the specific index position. Whereas in case of sorted also, I can use both append and insert. But when you are using append, we should take care of the sorting sequence, which is take care of what? Duplicate entries. Otherwise, it leads to what? Runtime error. So because of these two reasons, it is always recommended to use what? Insert on sorted internal table. So that we need not worry about the sorting sequence and we need not worry about the duplicate things. Yes, we can. Okay, suppose here. 
let me save it check for the syntax error like this one sheet we can we can give the combination of the key field so it will check the combination every time means employee number can be same employee name should be different or employee number should be unique employee name can be same it checks a combination so we can have multiple key fields also Vamshi, this is what you are asking. Yeah, we can have multiple key fields. It checks a combination every time. Yeah, any other questions, others? Right. Now, let us see whether this, okay, so when do we go for sort internal table? While adding the data itself, if you want to maintain the data in the sorting sequence, we'll go for a sorted internal table. Now, let me check whether we can explicitly use a sort statement on what? Uh, sorted internal table. So, this is my current data. How many records we have? Some four records, okay? Now, I want to sort this data based on what? Uh, employee name. So, how do we sort the data? We have to use what? Sort statement. So, sort. What is the internal table? P underscore EMP1 by what? E name. So, I am explicitly trying to use the sort statement on sorted internal table. So, when I do syntax check, yeah, I am getting an error. P underscore EMP1 is a table of type sorted. The sort command cannot be used with this type of table. So, this is another difference between standard and what sorted. In case of standard, explicitly we can use the sort command. But whereas in case of sort statement, I cannot use the sort statement. Sorting is always done based on the key field mentioned as part of declaring the sorted internal table. I cannot sort it on other fields. So, again, this will give me what? Syntax error. Hope it's clear. Yes, Samji. To sort the internal table automatically and to avoid the duplicate entries, we can go for what? Uh, key specification field. Yes, that is the purpose. So, the developer has to decide, okay, when you are creating the internal tables, no one will tell us whether to go for standard, sorted or ash internal table, okay. So, if you want to maintain the uniqueness, if you want to maintain the sorting sequence at the time of adding the entries itself, we will go for what? Sorted internal table and you want to restrict the sorting on what? Other fields. At that time, we will go for what? A sorted internal table. And yesterday we have seen, uh, we can use a read statement, right, on the standard internal table. How can we use the read statement? I can use based on the index or I can use based on the key field. So, here also, here also, let me quickly check whether it supports this read statement or not, okay. Suppose I want to read the third record. Third record means what is the index 3, na? So, let me check it. So, I will say clear. Uh, okay, let me see U line first. Read always reads the data into work area. That's the reason I'm clearing the work area before I'm using it. Read table T underscore EMP1 into W underscore EMP. How do you use it now? Index. Index what? 3. Index 3. How do you check the execution status of the read statement? By comparing with what? Size sub RC. Size sub RC is equal to 0. Okay. I'll just print the data. I'll just give a message also. Third record found. I'll print the data which is populated into the work area. W underscore EMP. W underscore EMP iPhone employee number. W underscore EMP iPhone employee name. W underscore EMP iPhone employee 
designation else I'll give a message third record not found so what I'm trying to check here is whether I can do the searching based on the index whether indexed search is possible on sorted internal double or not okay so when I exit what is there yeah, w underscore now I gave it as iPhone save it check for the syntax no errors done when I execute yes I got the what oh, third record seven kilo and manage so what is the meaning index search is supported in case of what sorted internal table so this is possible index search done let me check whether it supports linear search or not suppose here suppose here I want to search for a record whose employee number is six okay I want to search for the record whose employee number is what uh, six so I'll say so I don't know the position now I know some information about the record what is that information employee number is what six so read table t underscore emp1 into work area how do you do it based on the condition with the key with the key what is this employee number is equal to what six so this we call it as what linear search linear search means sequential search it starts searching from what first record to what last record till the condition is what satisfied so I'll just give the meaningful message here employee number six found I'm printing the data we yeah, are so employee number six not found okay so when I exit done so I got the data six Ashok and what employees so what is the meaning it supports what linear search I mean to say sequential search linear search is what it starts searching from the first record one by one till the condition is what satisfied so this is supported let me check whether it supports binary search or not binary search or not means now I want to search for the record whose employee number is 10 yesterday we understood that in order to uh, use binary search in order to use a binary search the data should be in what sorted order based on the search field here I want to search based on employee number anyhow the data is in sorted order of employee number only now for this internal table what is the key field employee number so it is going to sort on what employee number by default so explicitly anyhow I cannot use the sort statement so assuming that since the data is already in sorted order I'll try to use the binary search directly so I'll say read table t underscore emp1 into work area with key employee number equal to 10 I'll try to use the addition what binary search okay binary search so let me just change the comment binary search so I'll say employee number 10 found if size about is equal to 0 employee number 10 found and here I'll say employee number 10 not found so I'm trying to use binary search what is the concept of binary search I told yesterday it will identify the middle record in the internal table starting from the middle record it will decide whether to search in the upward direction or whether to search in the downward direction so we are minimizing the searching process we are improving the performance of our read statement by using what binary search so when I execute now yes I got the data 10 Pravin employee so which means what binary search is also supported so, so to, to summarize sorted internal table supports all types of search indexed search linear search and what binary search indexed search means if you are using the read statement based on the index linear search means uh, that is sequential search means if you are using the read statement based on what key field and binary search means what if you are using the read statement with the addition what binary search so it supports what all three kinds of what searches done that's all these are the points related to sorted internal table I'll repeat this once again if you have any questions you can ask me one second just hold on please just hold on
right okay so i'll summarize this what is sorted internal table while adding the data itself sap will arrange the data in what sorting sequence of the key field and when you are declaring the sorted internal table declaration of key field is mandatory it supports both non unique and what unique key non unique means it is understood that it can hold duplicate values unique means what it will not hold the duplicate values and we can use both append and insert statement on sorted internal table but when you are using the append statement we have to take care of the sorting sequence of the key field okay and also we are if it is a unique key field we should not insert any duplicate values otherwise these two statements may lead to what runtime error because of this reason it is recommended to use what insert statement over append in case of what sorted internal table and explicitly we cannot use the sort command on the sorted internal table and sorted internal table supports all three types of searches indexed search linear search and what binary search any questions please ask okay so now let us go to what ash internal table so i'll just copy this 23rd example to 24 23rd i am copying it to 24 yeah. so before discussing this uh, so what we are trying to declare ash internal table okay so ash internal table okay ash internal table okay supports sorry not supports ash internal table internally uses ash algorithm internally uses what ash algorithm okay so according to this algorithm okay it supports searching based on what key only not on what index okay according to ash algorithm indexing is not possible indexing is not possible only searching is possible based on what key field based on the key field based on the key only okay so i can say that this ash internal table doesn't support doesn't support what explicit or implicit index operations it doesn't support what explicit or implicit index operations so when i say implicit index operations what is the meaning of that okay it doesn't support append statement means what is the meaning of append append means indirectly we are telling to add the record to the end of the internal table indirectly we are telling the position append will always refers to what end of the internal table so indirectly we are telling the position nothing but what implicit index append always points to what at the end so append is not supported done this is one thing another point is what in the read statement if you use read with binary search what is the meaning we are indirectly telling to search for the record from the middle so indirectly we are telling the position that is middle again this is also not supported these two comes under what implicit index operations now when i say explicit index operations explicit index operations okay i cannot use insert insert with index is not possible we should not specify any in index i can use insert statement but plain insert without using any index if i use insert with index it gives what error then again what else i cannot use read with index this also comes under what explicit index operation right so to summarize ash internal table doesn't support explicit or implicit index operation so implicit index example is what append and read with binary search explicit is what insert with index and read with what index so let's see these things so already i copied i think right let me check yeah already copied so 
So 24, I'll make the necessary changes. So since Yeah, so here, let me comment everything. I am commenting everything. Yeah, I comment it. Now, here what I will do is, I will say, let me comment this too also. I yeah. will say data t underscore emp1 type what? Ash table of type ash table of so and so done so what i am trying to do here i am trying to declare ash internal table without any key without any key so this is very much valid if it is a standard internal table i can create that standard with the key or what without key i am trying to do the same thing for what ash internal table let's see whether we'll get any errors Good. I got an error, similar error. What is that? The key is not specified in full. Types is specified generically are completed only in what standard tables. Only for standard internal tables, I can declare without key. So this is giving me what syntax error. Done. Then I'll say data t underscore emp1. Again, let me say ash table of. What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to define a non-unique key. Okay, a non-unique key. This non-unique key is very much supported for standard as well as what sorted. I am trying to do the same thing for what ash internal table. So when I do syntax check, again I get an got an error. Ash keys must be unique. Ash keys must be unique. The addition unique must be specified in case of what ash table. So to understand what is the meaning here for ash internal tables. Key specification is what mandatory and it supports only what unique key specification. So this is giving me what syntax error. Then again I'll say type. What is this here? Type what? Ash table of type ash table of TY underscore EMP with unique key done. Done. So let me check it now. Yes. Okay. So it supports only what unique key done. Now let me check whether it uses, whether it supports append or not. So what I'll do here, I'll say, I'm adding some data and I'll try to use append. Append means indirectly we are telling the position, no? indirectly we are telling the position where to add. But Ash internal table doesn't support explicit or implicit index operation. So it should give me what? Syntax error. Good. What is the error I got? See, explicit or implicit index operations cannot be used on tables with types what ash table or any table t underscore emp1 as a type ash table it is possible that the addition table was not specified this one so we're done so what is the meaning is it doesn't support what explicit or implicit index operation so how do we add the data now one second please yeah so let me just comment this what I have to use now in order to add the data, I must use what? Insert statements. I'll say insert what? W underscore EMP into table what? T underscore EMP1. Save it. Check it. No errors done. Let me do the same thing for the other two records also. Append. So this will give me what? Syntax error. For your reference, I am commenting this so that when you are practicing in your systems, you uncomment and practice so that you will get the errors and you will understand the errors. Done. So here also same thing. Right. Save it. Check it. No errors. Let me try to loop and display that. So I got the data. Okay, I got the data. So what is the meaning? I am able to use insert statement. Let me try to use insert with index. Suppose here I'll say
inside W underscore EMP into into T underscore EMP1 I'll say index what 2 I'm trying to insert in the second position let me check the errors yeah I got an error explicit or implicit index operations are not possible so explicitly I am specifying the position again this is not supported so this will give me what syntax error this also will give me what syntax error so I can use only plain insert statement without any without any index that so I got the data right and what kind of key it supports only unique key so even if you try to insert duplicate entries it will ignore suppose here only I will try to insert duplicate record okay let me give 10 I will give this as something a show concern so 10 is already there so it will not insert two employees with employee number 10 it will simply ignore that because it is what unique key what are the first values that will consider that value only if you're trying to insert the duplicate entry it will ignore that okay so what happens here ignores duplicate record without what insertion ignores duplicate record for unique key field without insertion done so it, it will not give any error simply it ignores that done so we understood that I can use only append statement sorry I can use only what insert statement plain insert statement okay now let me check whether I can use sort statement okay so sort t underscore emp1 by employee name so let me try to redisplay it whether it is sorted or not so I am sorting it based on employee name I am explicitly trying to use a sort statement so when I execute yes I am able to what sort I am able to use a sort statement okay so it supports what sort statement done let me check whether I can use what read statement with index again we are telling the position now so it should give me what syntax error so when I do syntax check yes I got the similar error explicit or implicit index operations are not possible so again this will give me what syntax error so let me comment it for your reference syntax error done now let me check whether I can use binary search sorry linear search I am trying to use linear search first linear search will be supported okay because I am not giving any what position here I am not giving an index here I am searching based on what key so when I execute this no errors yes I got employee number six not found because six is not there okay let me search for seven so that you will get the record also yes I got the data seven Karen and what something what manager I got the data so what is the meaning it supports what sequential search let me try to use read with binary search so I'll say with employee number equal to binary search binary search is what again indirectly we are telling the position to start searching it from what the middle of the internal table so when I execute this yeah I got a similar error explicit or implicit index operations are not supported so I cannot use read with what binary search again this will give me what syntax error okay so now when do we go for ash internal table okay so just see this see the concept here in what cases you will go for ash internal table is suppose try to understand I will take a standard internal table or sorted internal table try to understand it can be as a standard internal table or sorted internal table now at this stage this internal tables is having some uh, what thousand records okay both these internal tables are having thousand records now I am searching for a record okay I am using the read statement I am searching for a record on this particular internal table so how do you search for a record by using what read statement so 
when I search for a record, overall how many records are the thousand records. So when I'm searching for a record, assume that it has taken some two milliseconds. It has taken some two milliseconds to give me the what result to give me the result. Okay. Now on the same internal table, I'll increase the count to do some fifty thousand records. I'll assume that now at this stage there are fifty thousand records. Again, I'm searching for the record. Again, I'm searching for the record. So when I use the read statement on this now, now this time it may take some three milliseconds because the number of records are what increased. So assume that we are having some one lakh records. Again, I am using the read statement. This time it may take some five milliseconds. So what you have to understand here, the time taken to search for a record depends on what amount of entries. Depends upon what number of entries. In case of what standard internal table or what sorted internal table means if the data increases obviously the searching time also will be what more but but if you take ash internal table okay if you take ash internal table okay in case of ash internal table irrespective of the number of entries the time taken for searching a record is always what constant is always constant Initially, you may have thousand records. Later on, you may have one lakh records. It doesn't depend upon the number of amount of entries. So, what I can say is, whenever you are dealing with huge amount of data, huge amount of data, we will go for what Ash internal table because when you are searching for a record, it doesn't depend on what amount of entries, number of entries. Always the time taken is what constant. But whereas in case of standard and sorted. If the number of entries increases, obviously the time taken for searching a record will what change. So for 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 storing for dealing with what lesser amount of data, we'll go for what standard or what sorted. But for huge amount of data, it is recommended to go for what it is not compulsory. It is recommended to go for what Ash internal table because the time taken for searching a record is always constant. It doesn't depend on the Size of the internal table. I mean to say, amount of entries in the internal table. Done. So it is a developer choice whether to go for standard or sorted or what Ash internal table. So any questions? Please ask. Me. Done. So we have done with most of the statements related to internal. Level. We have some more statements. We have uh, what collect statement. Okay, those things will come in the coming sessions. What is the actual size of internal elements? It depends on the data. Depends on the data you are storing. Dynamically, the size would be allocated. It is not fixed. The internal level size will automatically extend dynamically. Depending on the amount of data you are storing, it is not fixed. It is not constant. The size will vary depending on the number of entries, amount of entries. It is not static. It is always dynamic. Done. So before we discuss other uh, statements related to internal tables, what we will do from tomorrow is. So far, we are filling the data in the internal table manually. Tomorrow onwards, we'll see how to interact with the databases by using Open SQL and what Native SQL statements, and we'll retrieve the data from the database and we'll try to evaluate the performance. How much time it has taken to retrieve the data, to process the calculation, all those things. We'll start discussing it from tomorrow onwards. Done. Any questions? I am not following the syllabus sequence, so don't worry about the sequence. Okay, I'll be shuffling from here and there. What are the dependencies there? First, I'll cover those things. Then again, I'll come back to what other things. Okay, so I'll wind off for today. Then I will continue tomorrow. I will start with what database programming.
channel, so mining of photo day.